And welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. The Hilltoppers have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Allen comes away with five yards on the carry. He's under pressure, and he's level at the 24-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. Norfleet is back to receive. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gets to around the 42. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. This is one of their special plays they like to call to keep the defense off balance. When you can get first downs in unconventional ways, you have the edge over your opponent. Tackle around the 47-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Here we go! Wide 80! Wide 80! And he throws right away. The freshman makes the catch. And they finally knock him out at the 21. Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. Now he's scrambling. And that sets them up with a first and goal. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. 36, 36, too low. Here we go. He scrambled. Tackle made at the five yard line. From the five-yard line, it's second down. He steps out around the one-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. 
to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Touchdown, Wolverines! And the big fella's a battering ram, isn't he? He's almost impossible to slow down in short yardage situations. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 67 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook throw. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27 yard line. Michigan's looking right now like they've got all three phases working for them so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this team. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Knocked out of bounds at the 35. That's a game of eight on the play. That brings up second and one. He makes his way to about the 48. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Number five brings him down at the 46-yard line. That will make it second and four. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So they get it out there for about six yards, and that's a first down. Again, it's the receiver who makes the catch. If there was any doubt as to who was going to be getting the ball before, then there definitely isn't any right now. They'll bring him down at about the 27-yard line. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's the way you fly the ball. Two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 25. Three down, three down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, come on, Mike. Set. Right 80. Mike. 80. This quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. It's up. And he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 7-3, Michigan. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against his defense. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. 
Michigan holds a four-point lead. Deep to return. It's away and it's a booming punt. The Wolverines really came prepared to play defense today and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Sacked on the play. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, that you definitely are going to feel it the next day. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Norfleet is back deep to return. Tackle at the 46-yard line. The defense shut them down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Michigan is up by four. And he tackles them hard at the 37-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Ready! Green nine. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Try the left side, and he's taken down at the 31. They're about four yards away here on third down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. O'Neal has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. On 
the throw. Incomplete pass. Number 11, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it it's second and 10. Time. Ball on the 23-yard line. Steps out of bounds around the 25-yard line. And he's tackled at the 20 yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. First down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it so it's second and ten. Ball on the 14. Nice run there. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it third and five. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So that's an eight-play, 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And a 10-10 tie in this game. Western Kentucky ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. goes around the 22-yard line. Call a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. Crunch time, defense. Ready! Green 19! Green 19! Now he tries to buy some time. He's going to take off. He's taken down at the 30. Call the game of eight yards. Third down. I got tight left, tight left. Here we go, here we go. I got you, 88. I got you. Ready. He's going to try and scramble. He's to the 40. Fumble. The defense scoops it up. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive, has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Let's go! 
There's a strike complete. He's down. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Makes it fourth and four. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. And now he's got room to run. Touchdown, Touchdown. Michigan. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. He makes the PAT. Michigan is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And he just got drilled. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. From their own 19-yard line, second down. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Norfleet is the deep man awaiting the return. Norfleet fields it at the 38. He's taken down at the 43. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Michigan is up a score. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. At about the 49. Well, sometimes it doesn't matter how fast you are, you're not going to outrun that kind of pursuit. Bush, back to return it. Looking for the corner. He takes it in at the 14. And they push him out at the 24. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings up second and five. made at 
the 37. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of five yards. Man left, man left. That'll bring up third and two. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Ball start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. From their own 40-yard line, third down. And he throws it away. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Norfleet, the return man. <laughs> and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Michigan is up by a touchdown. Pass, pass, pass. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. A five-yard quarterback scramble. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds. The 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He's going to come up with a sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Nice run there as they work the outside. Smith gains around six yards on the run. Wow, what a first quarter we had. That was an offensive explosion. Michigan leads it 17-10. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Michigan up seven points. He's going left. They'll bring him down at the 22. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Here we go. Run, 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 run. They'll give it off here. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Let's go! Great check, check! Oh, no. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Woo, let's go! A gain of two let's yards. go! Third down. And here's another third down. Here we go. Check, check. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. 
Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 15-yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Michigan is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. For Michigan, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. Good pass rush by these guys today. They also have that one takeaway. Well, when this offense does complete a pass, they're not doing that badly. Yeah, pretty decent average. So if they can do more of that, it'll swing the pressure around. And for Michigan, they were also able to hang that defensive score on the board. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open. And everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, you aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Wilson's on the tackle at the 33-yard line. Fourth down. Norfleet is back to receive. And he has it on the corner. And down he goes at the 46. Return for a gain of 22 yards. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 37. Here we go. Green on the oh, oh, oh. Brought down right around the 34. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. The Wolverines had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Fires it out. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. This is the eighth play of this drive. That makes it first and goal. Ready, He scrambled, and down he goes at about the seven yard line.
from the seven yard line. It's second down. Brought down. That makes it third and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. They're crowding the line. Run, 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 run. He's taken down at the three yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. The Wolverines had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. He just drills this one. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. The Hilltoppers quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on the team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. That's yeah, not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job right now. Look at that scoreboard. They've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. going to bring up fourth down. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Norfleet is back awaiting the punt. Norfleet fields it for 39. Oh man, did he take a hit. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Pitch left, nothing there. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Second and 14. From their own 41 yard line, it's second down. Here we go! 180! Nice run up the middle. the stop at the 38. From the 38-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. And he is drilled at the 35-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 35. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. The Wolverines wide receiver had to leave the game earlier with that injury. And the word we're getting now, unlikely to see any further action in this one. Half 
Backs got it on the quick throw. Tackle around the 32-yard line. So it's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Kicks up. And he just drilled it from long range. to kick. He'll return it from the one. Tackle at the 26-yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Tackle in the open field. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Here they come. Nice catch. First down. He's knocked out. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. Second down at 12. Ball on the 48. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. For a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and four. They come out in a five-wide set. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. From the 38-yard line, first down. Throws out and through his hands. Bush was the intended receiver on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 40. This is the ninth play of the current drive. He flings it, makes the catch, and gets out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. To review the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. Here's play number 10 on the drive. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. On the ground, up the middle. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. Probably a gain of 13 yards. First down.
bring him down around the three yard line. That's a game of 10 in the play. That'll make it second and inches. And he's going to be sacked. So the smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They're about four yards away here on third down. Gets another handle, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Good, solid defense there to force him into a fourth down situation. It's up, and the field goal is good. like they're ready for the kick he kicks it off and he got all of that one this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold and they got to him before he could get back to the line From their own 24-yard line, second down. Just throws this one away. Zips it to the back. And he shoved out of bounds around the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 37. Out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That makes it 37. They'll line it up again on third down. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. out of bounds and this play is number eight on the drive here he goes gains his way to the 23 yard line from the 23 yard line it's first down out to his receiver and he's tackled around the 14-yard line 10th play of the drive green will try the left side gets to about the 11-yard line from the 11-yard line 
First down. He fights forward to about the 10. A gain of a yard of the quarterback keeper. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of six yards. That makes it third and three. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Game of two on the play. That'll bring up fourth and one. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. 17's Mike. Mike 17. Green 88. Green 88. Huh? that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Balance and they can't connect. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Brought down at the 18. and run up the gut. Gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. We've played a half of football. Michigan leads it 26-13. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel for sure. They're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to find some new defenses. You always come into the week and come into that game, and you think you have a plan to, to, to stop a designed offense. It's not working. you got to do something a little bit different this second half. They, they, they planned all week. They didn't plan properly. they got to find some new ways to, to put pressure on the quarterback and make things happen on defense. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Flyers to his fullback, no good. Number 36 was the intended receiver on the play. 
from their own 25-yard line. Second down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Let's go! Green 19! Green 19! Screen pass. He's got his half back. Knocked out of bounds at the 46. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Let's go! Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That'll make it second and four. the middle for a nice game from the 42 yard line first down he's knocked out of bounds right around the 32 yard line Around the 23 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Ready, wide 80. Wide. He flings it right, and this will be caught. Touchdown! He's got 300 yards passing now. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. And he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he is drilled at the 11-yard line. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 25 yard line. That's a game of 14 yards on the play. That'll make it 35. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out of bounds at the 26-yard line. And he's taken down at 
at the 39. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. And let's also recognize the offensive line. This defense has been coming after this quarterback. And to the offensive line's credit, they've given him enough time to be able to read the defense and make good throws. He'll lead them out for another drive here, looking to add to his numbers and to their lead. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Setting up the play action, and he throws right away. Incomplete, almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Ready, Tackle made at the 47. Game two yards. That'll make it fourth and two. O'Neal to punt. Signals for a fair catch. This defensive end is having a very good day. Well, this is the kind of guy that any defensive coach just loves. He's a tough guy. He's not afraid to mix it up. And he always seems to be around the football. And I'll tell you, Brad, I think he's just so big and athletic. He's just a nightmare for this offensive line. They just cannot do a very good job sustaining blocks against him. You've got to think that one reason they are ahead is because of the boost he's given them. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And they make the stop at about the 31. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. At the 40-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it second and two. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. Number eight with the tackle at the 42-yard line. I got you. First down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. And he's stopped behind the line. down and they need to get it inside the 48 and they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set gets it out quickly and he's level at the 50 yard line wow a long game but still not enough for the first but well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down That's a great tackle at the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. First down. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. No gain on the play. That makes it second. Nice run up the middle. Three makes the tackle. Gain of four yards. That makes it 37. Quick strike and he drops it. The Hilltoppers lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. 
In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick throw. Good tackle there in space. it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Bush, back deep to return. <laughs> Tackle made at the 41. Return for a of four yards. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Taylor, the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's taken down around the 42-yard line. He fires left side, and he's got the junior, and he's tackled the 17-yard line. This secondary better tighten it up if they're going to slow down this drive. Makes it first and ten. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. Just the middle laps, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still first down. So the penalty will make it first and 15. it out to his receiver in a hurry. Very good tackle in space. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Gets to about the eight-yard line. to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. That's a loss of three yards. That makes it four. Well, a man down and the trainer's on their way out to have a look. This one should be makeable. The kick is up and it's through the uprights. Western Kentucky to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Tackled after a decent pickup. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball in the 29. So he holds on to it and gets a good five yards. He 
makes it to the 35-yard line. That's a game of one in the play. Fourth down. The Hilltoppers lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. And this one is a beauty. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws it. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Brought down at the 50. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. They come out in an empty backfield. And he's tackled right away. Just about ready to return to action. Here we go. Here we go. And they get nice yardage on that run. Green gains around five yards on the draw play from scrimmage. Second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Set, green, green, eight, green, green, eight. Check, check. Stand right. Uh -huh. Green, green, green. Slings it. And down he goes around the 37-yard line. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 37. Let's go! Three, three, three. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackled for a loss. Number 94 with the tackle at the 37 yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. O'Neill is the punter. Bush takes it at the 23, brought down at the 29. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. 
gain of eight yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Dowdy off the fake. Has all day to throw. And here's a quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number five makes the tackle at the 36 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Him. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. That makes it second it's second and ten. Ball on the 36. Throws this one out to the right, and it falls incomplete. Which was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Out of bounds around the 35 yard line. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. He gets it up and he splits the uprights. like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call the game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Set, green and eight. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. Seven yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47 yard line. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 44 yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That's the end of three quarters to play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. The Wolverines lead it by two touchdowns. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. run and he's brought down they move the sticks after another first down impressive drive by this offense so far i really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield zips it to the back they'll get him for a loss behind the line loss of one yard on the play that'll bring up second and 11. This is the eighth play of this drive. Set, green 19. Fires 
Sanders quickly to the tight end. Tackle made at the 28. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Wants to throw outside. And it's caught. And they push him out around the 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, first down. And they make the stop around the three-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Defense stacked in tight here. around the four-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Here we go. Check, check. Stay. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. No gain on the play. Fourth down. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. O'Neal gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. He's out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. He's got his half back. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 46-yard line. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Caught a big hit there to stop him. Good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. They're crowding the line. He's got it out to his tight end. What a play, and that is first and goal. Number five makes the tackle at the nine-yard line. That makes it first and goal. This is the ninth play of this drive. Right 
They'll knock him down for a loss. That brings up second and goal. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it four and goal. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. And he tacks on the extra point. Western Kentucky is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled at about the 21. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 21 yard line, second down. Here we go. Green on the eighth. Green on the eighth. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 23. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. Game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Down, green 88. Green 88. Gets to around the 42. Game of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 42. Gets to about the 34-yard line. That makes it second and two. Steps up and goes down. That's a loss of six yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. As a man, he'll lose big yards. That was a loss of six on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. 
So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That brings up second and five. Down at the 28-yard line. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Taken down around the 42 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42 yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's knocked out of bounds at midfield. with room to work. Touchdown, Michigan! What a catch and a big touchdown from the tight end. I'll tell you, this tight end is a big-time football player. He might like to talk a little bit out there on the field, but he has the type of game to back it up. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. He hits the PAT. So a short three-play, 61-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. O'Neal, ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. down immediately. That's a game of seven and four. That'll bring up second and three. Decent pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Steps out of bounds at the 43-yard line. That makes it third and three. Down he goes at about the 45. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. 
Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. First down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of seven yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. And this play is number eight on the drive. He wants it all. Can't pull it in. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. That makes it fourth and long. Oh, excellent punt. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Not sure that touchdown and their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. You know, this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play call. Make it second, and seven. second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 20. He's tackled at the 27. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That brings up fourth and three. Bush is the deep man awaiting the return. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Caught, open field. Tackle made at the 38. That's a game of 19 in the play. That makes it first and 10. the middle got his tight end that's a great tackle at the 26 yard line pulls it in and he's in the open field and he tackles him hard at the 12. first down Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Morris, the intended receiver on the play. From the 10 yard line, it's third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fires complete over the middle. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. And that's TD pass number three. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He 
He makes the PAT. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Smith takes a handoff, runs it right. Nice pickup. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. Third down. The Hilltoppers taking their first time out of the half. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up. That's just a bit of bad luck for this freshman kicker. So we'll change possession with a score. Michigan, 43. Western Kentucky, 33. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. If you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. Slings it. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Throws it deep. He's got it. Touchdown. A huge pass and catch for the touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he converts the extra point. Yard line. Man, hang on to your hats, folks, because both these offenses are in gear right now. Well, the way these guys are executing right now, it could come down to just which defense can come up with one stop. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Michigan has a three-point lead. He is drilled at the 48. The Hilltoppers, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. That makes it 37. They'll give it off here. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Here we go. Line 80. Line 80. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee.
the Hilltoppers have to look at this somehow as a positive. Their star player had a great game. They just got to look to next week. Yeah, it's tough anytime you lose a game to be positive. But if there is anything to be positive about, it's about that performance by this individual. He, he really did everything that he could do to try to win this football game. Unfortunately, the team ends up losing. But they can't build to the future around his abilities for sure.